Hello everyone, this is Sean with Backflow Supply out of Salt Lake City, Utah again. Today I wanted to do a short video, mainly for the homeowners, about what these things are that are on the side of your backflow assembly. And sometimes they're called pet cocks, sometimes they're called pep cocks, other times they're called thingies, but what they're really called is test cocks. And they're called that because they're being used for testing the backflow assembly to make sure it's functioning as it should. And they'll look a little different from model to model and from years ago they've changed too. So some of you may see your test cock that looks something like this. It'll have a screwdriver slot in it. Uh, some of them, the older ones, had a little handle, ball valve handle. But it's just a quarter female fitting here with a fitting on uh, this end, a male fitting. Generally it's an eighth inch for the one inch and smaller and it's inch and a, for inch and a quarter to two, it's a quarter inch male fitting. Sometimes you may see it with a fitting in it like this so that the tester can test it. Um, sometimes you'll see that there is a cap that's on it like that to keep the dirt out of it. Or you may see it with a plug in it like that to keep the dirt out of it. And the plugs can be different colors and it doesn't matter what color it is. Um, there is even a brass cap that is on those that has an o-ring seal in it. And I understand some jurisdictions actually require uh, an o-ring seal so that if there is a backflow situation and the test cock's leaking that it doesn't actually siphon water back in. Um, and even now there's this type of a test cock that has the fitting already built into it. And so again, you may see it with a plastic cap on it or that brass cap. But it doesn't matter, they're all pretty much the same. Now the one thing that I want to touch on is that oftentimes a homeowner will call me and say they've got water shooting out of the side of their backflow. Well, usually what that means is somehow for some reason this screw has been turned and it's every quarter turn open and closes it and any place in between it's open um, I don't know if you can see but as I'm turning it you can see a little silver ball in there that's turning um, but I've got this one pressurized I'll show you this is just barely turning it on and you get a little bit of water coming out of there but you can get quite a bit of force shooting out of those and from time to time that ball will go bad or the seal that's around it and you may get it dripping uh, now these caps and these plugs that I was talking about they're not designed to hold pressure or to keep it from leaking so you'll need to replace these test cocks which is really easy to do you just use a wrench and unthread it from the body of the assembly and it'll come out like that and you just put a new one in and those are easy to replace anybody can do it um, but I just wanted to cover if you do have a leaking test cock the first thing to do is to check to make sure that you have that screwdriver slot going directly across the test cock like that if it's anywhere in between uh, open or close, it's going to be part way open. So I hope you find this helpful. Please uh, ask any questions below. Sometimes I forget what the questions would be that a homeowner, homeowner might have uh, because I'm so used to dealing with these. So please post your questions, your comments. Click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video coming out. These videos are for contractors and for homeowners, so I hope that uh, they're helpful. Thank you and have a good day.